Hey everyone, today we're going to do a tutorial for Mexico for the cruise ride. I chose a background of ocean for snorkeling as snorkeling is big in Mexico for cruise ship number two ride. We're going to paint some seaweed and some coral and I chose to do two dolphins and two little fish. So right now you see me penciling in on my Santorini. I started just outlining a basic shape for the rock and the seaweed and coral. Now I'm just penciling in a dolphin. I looked at my phone to try and get the shape that I liked. I always draw in pencil first because I like to erase, as you can see many times. <laughs> Um, it doesn't have to look exactly like my dolphin. I just googled on Pinterest and on the internet and chose one that I thought was simple to draw. After I go in with my pencil, I'll go back with my Micron pen or Copic Fine Liner. Today I use Micron because that's what I had handy. But I'm going to go back in and trace everything. Doesn't matter what size you use. I think this one is an 01. So I'll go ahead and trace everything. And then when it's finished, I'll go back and erase my lines for the pencil. And then we'll be all ready to start coloring in with our watercolor. You can see I added some bubbles and a heart. I did a heart since our cruise is for lovers and Valentine's Day, just to make it festive. Um, I find the kneading eraser best when I'm doing a whole rock because the other erasers just get too black and then I kind of smear. Sorry, I had to stop. I'm not sure where I got cut off, but I stopped because there was a baby crying in the background. Um, before I get started on the watercolor, I did just want to mention, I'm sorry the video goes a little bit fast. Feel free to stop it at any point. Um, I'm not very good at giving <laughs> directions. Um, so you'll have to bear with me. I normally look at a picture and kind of create that way. Seaweed, pretty basic, squiggly lines, coral, again, a rectangle with some squiggly lines. And again, I used Pinterest to come up with the shape of the dolphin. I love watercolor. You'll see in here, I'm using Wanda's neon watercolors, which are so rich and vibrant, they're awesome. And then I'm using some ink tents and watercolor pencils. Sometimes I use my watercolor pencils and I color on my rock. Other times I just use the wet tip and brush it onto the pencil and then onto the rock. So it's really up to you. I find for bigger spaces I tend to color. And for smaller spaces I use the tip of the pencil and my brush. So I just went ahead in pretty much coloring book the entire rock with my watercolor. I used Wanda's watercolors. I used some gray, purple, green, yellow, a camel color for the sand, and then I'll use blue for the background. And I used some orange and pink for the seashells and starfish. So that's pretty much all the watercolors I used. You can feel free to make it your own, use whatever colors you like. I chose a very pale blue and purple for the dolphin as we're gonna go over top and zentangle it. While I am finished painting here, I'm gonna talk a little bit about zentangles. They're one of my favorites and I like it just because you can doodle. It's whatever you want it to be. So you just have fun with it. 
for me, for my dolphins. I'm going to keep it pretty basic for you guys. I chose a few places on the dolphin and I just doodled a flower design. And around my flower on the dolphin, I went back around with my micron pen and I just made little tiny circles all around the rest of the dolphin. And your circles are going to touch each other and any spots in between the circles that don't meet, you just color it in black with the pen. And then your dolphin will have a zentangled design. Does it have to be flowers and circles? No, you can do squiggly lines, you can do triangle lines. It's just about doodling and keeping it not, not exactly the same, but preferably not all the same thing. So you don't want to do all diagonal lines. You might want to do some diagonal lines and a flower or some zentangle, um, some squiggly lines and some diagonal lines, some checkered boxes, but just have fun with it. So that's me putting in my flowers. And I'll start to put in the little circles and I'm going to pause and finish the circles because it's time consuming. You guys don't want to watch me do 4,000 circles for 15 minutes. So I'll take a break and then I'll be able to show you the next one. There's one complete. And now I'm just going to give him some plain lines on his stomach. Again, do you want to do plain lines? Do you want to do a different design? It's totally up to you. Have fun with it, be creative, and let loose. Zentangle is very detailed. I love my Micron pens and my Copic fine liners, but I do Zentangle a lot, so I go through them very quickly. Try not to press down too hard and I guess switch up your sizes when you can. I'm famous for sticking with the same pen for a while, which means I might have to press down or go over it several times to get the thickness that I want instead of just reaching in and getting a new pen. So again, I go through them quickly, especially 005 and 01 and 03. But they're my favorite. I hope you guys have fun creating them as much as I do. The bubbles in the background were just circles. I tried to keep them a little lighter of the blue. And then I just took a silver gel pen and made a little moon shape in each of them in a different section to give them a little 3D effect. If you want, you can go back and add zentangles to anything else that you may like. If you want to zentangle the rock for more detail or the seaweed or some more details to the fish, feel free. I just wanted to keep it basic and give you guys a little bit of a lesson with zentangles. And I hope you guys have fun on the second trip, creating some snorkeling fun. Thank you for watching. You'll be able to watch the rest of the video in peace and quiet without my blobbering.